Hey everyone, I know it's been a long time and uh, there's, there's good reason for that and that reason is Java development is um, pretty uncomfortable for me and I don't like doing it and don't really want to do it anymore. Uh, and there's tons of more interesting things that I would like to spend time on and if anybody's interested to stream or post videos about. Over the past uh, sort of three or four months in my spare time, I've been building a new front end for RetroArch or any emulator really, because uh, I've been building PCs that have the form factor of consoles um, from older hardware that I found on eBay and been plonking them around the house in the hopes that my kids would pick up retro gaming because uh, I feel like newer games that are coming out these days are uh, fairly bad in comparison to what we had growing up. Uh, so I've been building, well, I've been learning really OpenGL um, and I'm still quite new to it um, and using my favorite language C to build a new front end for RetroArch. And I've decided that um, a UI, a UI design that I really like is the Netflix style UI. So I'm attempting to not clone it, but uh, definitely take inspiration from from the Netflix user interface. Um, so I've implemented multi-users. Um, and when we click through, this is the user interface that I've knocked together. Um, so the idea really is to have uh, lists of games and to take the uh, this idea that all uh, front ends for emulator machines should organize things by the platform that uh, they were originally released on. I would like to build a UI that actually puts the, uh, the games first and allows for... Uh, both smart lists, so uh, jump back in, recently installed. You may also like those sort of lists. Uh, maybe even take top 10 lists like Metal Jesus's uh, top 10 hidden gems on the PSP, things like that. Uh, and that's where we'll be going with this next. I mean, at the minute, it's just a fairly dumb representation of whatever I've got set up. Uh, so, contrary to what I've just said, we do have sort of top ranked NES games. Uh, top ranked PlayStation games, um, just so I could get something on screen really. Uh, it's It uses OpenGL 3.2, it has um, font rendering uh, is done by STB TrueType and uh, I think that, that's more or less it. The, the next thing I'll be putting in is something that records how much time you spend in playing on different games uh, so that you can have sort of so that we can start to build more intelligent lists to display here. Uh, but I think it's looking pretty cool at the minute. I'm quite happy with it. There's a few bugs here and there. But um, if anyone's interested in uh, seeing me do more demos of this as I'm building it, or people are interested in actually seeing me add features and, and actually write some code, uh, like I used to do with the Coding with Carl series with uh, this project, then uh, let me know and I will accommodate you. Also, all the code is open source and this is available on GitHub. Um, please don't bombard me with uh, bug reports and things because, as I said, this is sort of like alpha 0 0.1 um, level right now. But it's fairly easy to build on, uh, on Linux. There's not that many dependencies for it. Um, so, you know, you should be able to figure it out if you're... Uh, if you're already comfortable with Linux or building software on Linux. Um, yeah, so there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you like the look of this, and uh, see you soon.